So yeah, if you wanted to get the PS5 Pro 30th Anniversary Edition, you had next to zero chance of getting it. I mean, they had, what, 12,300 units allocated worldwide. So God knows how many per region. But the PS Direct experience, as people should have known from previous events, was an absolute... I can't even use the word. <laughs> I'm not going to use the word because I don't want to get demonetized. But it was an absolute something show, is all I'll say. <laughs> but, I mean, I'll give you an example of my friend who actually managed to secure one. But this is a rarity. He logged on at 7.30. This is in the UK. So, 7.30 a.m. he logged on and he was placed in a queue. He sat in a queue and then he got an alert maybe around 10. Just, just gone 10 when it actually, you know, went live. And, um basically got an alert saying do you want to keep your place in the queue so it's great he managed to secure a ps5 pro 30th anniversary edition checked out as soon as he checked out kicked him out the, the playstation site completely kicked him out now he had himself in a queue on his phone and managed to get back into the queue get back onto the site get a slot and then pick up a anniversary edition of the dual sense and the ps portal and he was called checked out this is probably all within five minutes not long after 10 a.m about five minutes later they were all sold out everywhere i mean there were just numerous reports of people just having absolutely no chance of getting on like you'll go to check out you do your verification with your bank we have to respond to a text message with a code or something like that by the time you've done that sold out and you see the result already you see these machines <laughs> you see these ps5 pro 30th anniversary editions appearing on ebay for five grand Six grand, seven grand, eight grand, nine grand. I've just seen one for 10 grand. I mean, this is absolutely bonkers. The whole experience of trying to do get these limited editions is, is just trash these days. The, the, the companies like Sony makes no effort to try and, you know, avoid these situations. Like, we know it's going to be, well, it's, we know it's going to be a highly sought after device. You know it's going to be, you know, people's interests are going to be high. But the whole queuing system is nonsense because there are people who queued from the same time that my friend did, about 7.30 in the morning, and didn't get any notification until well after 10. So they had no chance of getting it whatsoever. And then there's just reports of people just trying to buy stuff, getting to check out and getting error messages such as um, there's been a problem or um, suddenly the item's out of stock, but if you go to the actual website, it shows it's in stock. Or you get one where it just generally just has numerous issues trying to get, you know, these items or they're just removed from your, your basket. So it's just, I mean, it's what do these companies have to do? Do they need better and more robust websites? Do they offer these limited edition to, for example, loyal PlayStation customers? Say, for example, people who've got a solid history of buying from PlayStation or those who subscribe to PS Plus, you know, something like that. Is there a fair way of allocating these units to people or is it just you know free for you know in in, in sony's defense they probably don't care a sale is a sale they couldn't care less what's done afterwards they're selling these things for yeah 959 959.99 so as far as they're concerned they couldn't care less they sold those uh, you know they've done the pre-orders for those they'll sell those in a couple of months time um in november and for them they don't care they've got their money so what happens after that? I couldn't care less. So you know that's coming from the business side of things. But what do you guys think? I mean, what was your, what has been your experience today in trying to get a PlayStation Five Pro 30th Anniversary Edition or Dual Sense or Dual Sense Edge or anything on the PlayStation Direct website? Because from what I've been seeing and hearing from people, it has been an absolute. I can't use the word show, and I'm not even going to beep it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has been terrible. It's been a poor experience for a lot of people. A lot of hardcore PlayStation fans are very, very upset. And I'm hearing people saying that they're not going to purchase the standard PS5 Pro just out of sheer principle because it has been handled so badly, this 30th anniversary edition. But I don't know. What oh, I don't know. It's it's a shame for those who are diehard into this sort of thing. Me, I'm playing Zelda today, so I'm not really fussed, but <laughs> for those who have been really after this have been really you know pulled in by the nostalgia of this i can understand their disappointment so i would love to know what you guys think about this uh, playstation 30th anniversary collection debacle that has gone on uh today yeah let me know what you think in the comment section below smash that like button subscribe if you're somebody new and thanks for listening i shall catch you on the next one cheers